First Samuel 3 and verse 19. And Samuel grew, and the Lord was with him, and it let none of his words fall to the ground. Job 22 and verse 28. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. Psalm 104 and verse 4. Who maketh his angels spirits, his ministers a flaming fire. Ecclesiastes 9 and verse 10. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave, whither thou goest. Isaiah 44 and verse 26. That confirmeth the word of his servant, and performeth the counsel of his messengers, that say to Jerusalem, Thou shalt be inhabited, and to the cities of Judah you shalt be built, and I will raise up the decayed places thereof. Isaiah 50 and verse 4 The Lord God has given me the tongue of the learned, that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. He wakened morning by morning, he wakened mine ear to hear as I learned. Matthew 3 and verse 11 I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Matthew 4 and verse 19 And he saith unto them, Follow me, and I'll make you fishers of men. Matthew 28 and verse 19 to 20 Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Mark 16 from verse 15 to verse 20 And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. So then, after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven, and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them, and confirming the word with signs following. Luke 10 and verse 19 Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. John chapter 2 verse 17 And his disciples remembered that it was written, The zeal of thine house hath eaten me up. John 14 and verse 12 Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Romans 12 and verse 11 Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 26 How is it then, brethren, when you come together, every one of you hath a psalm, hath a doctrine, hath a tongue, hath a revelation, hath an interpretation, that all things be done unto edifying. 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 31 For you may all prophesy one by one, that all may learn, and all may be comforted. 2 Corinthians 3 and verse 6 He also hath made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the Spirit, for the letter killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. Second Corinthians 5 verse 18 to verse 20 And all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation, to wit, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. 
Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be reconciled to God. 2 Timothy 1 and verse 6 Wherefore I put thee in remembrance, that thou stir up the gift of God which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. 2 Timothy 4 and verse 2 Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. First Peter four verse ten to verse eleven. As every man hath received a gift, even so minister the same one to another, as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ to whom be praise and dominion for ever and ever. I am growing in God and he is with me and let none of my words fall to the ground. I decree things and they are established unto me. I am his minister and I am a flame of fire. I do with all my might whatever my hands find to do. God confirms my word for I am his servant. And he performs my counsel from his messenger. God has given me the tongue of the learned, that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. I have been baptized with the Holy Ghost and with fire. I am following Jesus and he makes me to be a fisher of men. I go and teach nations. I baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. I teach them to observe the things that Jesus has commanded me to observe. I preach to every creature. I speak in new tongues. I cast out devils. I lay hands on the sick and they recover. As I preach the word, the Lord works with me and confirms the word with signs following. I walk in God's authority and his power. And has given me power to tread on serpents and on scorpions. And I tread over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt me. The zeal of his house consumes me. I believe on Jesus and the works that he does I do also. And the greater works than these I do because he went to his father. I am not thoughtful in business but I am fervent in spirit in serving the Lord. When I meet with the brethren, I bring psalms, I have a doctrine, I bring a tongue, I bring revelation, I have interpretation. My purpose is to bring edifying to the body of Christ. I prophesy that, that others may learn and be comforted. God has made me an able minister of the New Testament, of the Spirit that gives life. I stir up all the gifts of God which is in me. I preach the word. I'm instant in season. I'm instant out of season. I reprove. I rebuke. I exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. As I receive the gifts, even so I minister the same. I'm a good steward of the manifold grace of God. When I speak, I speak as oracles of God. When I minister, I do to the ability that God gives, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion for ever and forever. Amen.